At this point, I want to talk about the top five causes of foodborne illness in the United States. Currently, they are improper holding time and temperatures, poor personal hygiene, inadequate cooking, contaminated equipment, and food from an unsafe source. The number one cause of foodborne illness in the United States is improper holding temperatures. This seems like a pretty simple principle. Keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. Unfortunately, it's the top cause of foodborne illness. The temperature danger zone is any temperature between 41 and 135 degrees. This is where harmful bacteria rapidly reproduce, especially if the potentially hazardous food has been in this danger zone for more than four hours. That's why it's so important to monitor time and temperature during the food preparation process. Within the topic of holding temperatures is how to properly cool foods from hot to cold, reducing the amount of time the food spends in the danger zone. So what are the best ways to cool potentially hazardous food? Once you're ready to cool your food, it's best to use an ice bath, shallow pans, preferably metal, smaller portions, and frequent stirring. This must be done before you put the food into the refrigerator. Potentially hazardous food must be cooled from 135 degrees to 70 degrees within two hours. Then cooled from 70 degrees to 41 degrees or lower within the next four hours. Putting hot food into refrigeration can raise the temperature of the unit and thereby put other foods at risk. Once the food reaches 70 degrees or lower, you can put the food into shallow or small containers and put into the refrigerator uncovered. The only time a food should be uncovered is when you're cooling foods. Once the food is cooled completely, cover with an approved cover such as a lid, aluminum foil, or plastic wrap. Here are some tips for keeping cold foods cold. Do not overfill the refrigerator. You put a lot of stress on the refrigeration unit when you overfill it. It becomes difficult for air to circulate and the refrigerator is constantly working to keep all the food cold. After receiving a shipment, refrigerate food as soon as possible. This should be a number one priority, so make sure there's someone available to inspect deliveries and check temperatures so that the food can be moved into a refrigerator or freezer as quickly as possible. Do not thaw potentially hazardous foods at room temperature. There are three acceptable methods of thawing food. Under cold running water, in the refrigerator, or as part of the cooking process. Now let's test your understanding of refrigeration and thawing techniques. Myth. Refrigeration stops bacterial growth. Fact. Refrigeration slows but does not prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. The same goes for freezing and hot holding temperatures. Myth. I can safely thaw food on the counter at room temperature. Fact. Food thawing at room temperature allows for the food to remain in the danger zone. Thaw food in the refrigerator, under cold running water, or as part of the cooking process.